Hello YouTubers, brothers and sisters in the Lord and to all dear subscribers. I'd like to share with you Revelation chapter 11 verse 11. Let me read the verse first. And after three days and a half the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood up their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. I'd like to briefly explain, uh, you know, what a little bit of the background of this verse. We know at this point of time that the two prophets that God did send to preach the gospel of salvation to the world uh, were killed during the Antichrist reign and uh, killed by the Antichrist in the world. And you know, at that, at that, during a phase where the world and uh, is it is in the darkest and the gloomiest uh, spiritual stage and everyone and the whole world just hate these two prophets for, for speaking the truth, for talking about God's plan of salvation. It's the, the unbelievable level of hatred. They, they just can't wait to get rid of uh, the two prophets to kill them. It's, a, it's so tormenting to hear the two prophets telling them about God and his plan of salvation and so forth. So finally they were killed by the Antichrist and also by uh, you know, the world. And uh, the, the hatred is so extreme that they don't even want to bury the two prophets and just leave them their dead bodies on, on the street and celebrating, have a global celebration of having killed the two prophets. However, they did not realise that they're not opposing the two prophets behind all this is God, opposing God. God the creator of all things, of the whole world, of us, the, the God Almighty, who can resurrect them from the dead. So it was unexpected of them. They thought they had victory. Uh, to finally, you know, get rid of these two prophets. But thank and praise God, who, you know, resurrected them so gloriously and majestically in the presence of all people, the presence of the whole world, uh, you know, to show uh, his power and might as God, the God Almighty, the Creator. And, uh, you know, definitely that brought a lot of fear to people, a lot of fear indeed. And um, so in this verse, I, I'd like to share the, the lesson behind it, that, uh, you know, if, if any one of us who truly believe in God and really commit ourselves to living to, to share his truth to the world, whoever, and risk our lives being killed, um, you know, that's, that's just something uh, not the end of it, but it's just a transition phase to a better, definitely the better and the perfect phase of afterlife, where our dead mortal bodies will be resurrected to a new, wonderful, beautiful, perfect celestial bodies, just like how uh, you know the Lord, our Lord Jesus had the new, wonderful, perfect body, res the resurrected body. So you know that's one aspect. Another aspect of uh, any one of us who die, die peacefully in the Lord may not be a martyr, but you know, again, it, it's such a joyful time because this, this mortal body is just a matter of time that it will die. There's so much you know, decaying process going on, you know, sickness, illness is just inevitable. And uh, when we do die, when this body dies, that's when. We you know that's the most joyous, joyous time to meet the Lord with a new body. We'll open up our eyes, we'll see our Lord Jesus Christ and God Heaven the Father, uh, you know, with a wonderful new resurrected body. Uh, on, on the spiritual aspect of things, we, we can see that uh, if we are truly seeking salvation and having, you know, seeking to have a true relationship with God, which is a spiritual relationship with God, then we 
you know, we really must accept the Lord Jesus through the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour. And I'd like to encourage all of you who have not received the Lord Jesus to receive him as your Lord and Saviour so that we can be prepared any time when we die. We are not dead spiritually, we are alive and resurrected spiritually in the Lord. And um, you know, we don't fear this physical death anymore. The moment we are born again, we are truly converted, having the Lord Jesus' precious blood wash our sins, all our sins, confess before him all the sins, and make right with the person or whoever that you should make right with, not just making right with God. And you know, once you have all yourself cleansed and you know, inside out spiritually, we are new, we are resurrected in the Lord, we're no longer dead. God does not see us as dead, but we are, we are already resurrected spiritually in the Lord. So we don't fear this physical, external death, because we are already resurrected in the Lord, in terms of spiritual aspect, spiritual life. And it's just a matter of time that when we die, we'll have the new resurrected bodies. And of course, I do also believe in, you know, the rapture and, the, you know, being resurrected even before the second coming of the Lord Jesus. I mean, uh, the resurrection takes place in so many times, you know, throughout the Bible, for God's people, before Jesus comes and when Jesus comes and after. I mean, it's just not one type of thing, but the bulk of people, of course, who believe in the rapture. Those who will live in the rapture will be resurrected physically. Quite a big batch of people, of believers, true believers, uh, you know, who are prepared and not having to go through the horrible, dark spiritual phase of the Antichrist rule, of you know, ruling over the lower world. But for those also who, um, you know, Going to be having to go through that again. We see that you know there will also be another resurrection later when the Lord comes. So, anyways, I don't want to get into that. That's out of the, out of the, uh, the context of this verse. So, in the context of the, this verse, I'd like to advise and I'd like to encourage all of you who have not received the Lord Jesus to receive Him as your Lord and Savior, so that spiritually. You can be alive and just waiting for the resurrection of the, the body. Uh, you know, the transformation from this old body, which is, you know, will be transformed to the new celestial and beautiful body. I think that's all I've got to share for this, uh, this time. And uh, thank you for watching with me.